everybody, it's Craig Sanders with f and Mortgage back with another quick mortgage minute for you. And this time we are talking about uh, how you can get your PMI removed um, from your existing conventional loan. Um, so let's say you've got a mortgage, it's a conventional mortgage and you're paying PMI each month and uh, you want to know the ways that you can get the PMI uh, removed from the loan. Uh, there's three basic ways to do it, uh, two of which are required by law. So uh, as long as you meet the criteria, then um, you can for sure get those done. And then the third way um, is really up to your mortgage servicer. So let's kind of unpack this and go through them one by one. The first way that your PMI um, can get removed, will get removed is based on the original amortization schedule for your mortgage, when the original amortization schedule says that you are at the 78% loan to value, the PMI will automatically drop off. Okay. So when you closed your loan, uh, the original amortization schedule, basically each month set a certain uh, uh, loan balance that your, your, uh, your mortgage would be at after you've made that month's payment. And um, the original amortization schedule, wherever it says that falls at the 78%, the PMI automatically drops off. So the way I describe it to people is if you uh, set your loan up on automatic payments and went into a coma and stayed into a coma past the point that you're at a 78% loan to value, you wouldn't have to do anything. The PMI would automatically drop off. So that's one way. Uh, the second way is if you pay your principal balance down to 80% or less of the original value, which keep in mind, the original value is the lesser of the sales price or appraised value. But if you pay your uh, principal balance down to 80% or less, you can request from your servicer that your PMI get dropped off. And as long as you have a good payment history and uh, the value hasn't dropped, so they can require you to do an appraisal at that point, um, but as long as the value is still there, then uh, the PMI will get removed from your loan. So those two ways are required by law. And those two ways are pretty much guaranteed as long as you uh, meet the criteria. The third way that you can potentially get PMI removed is if you think that the value of your home has increased from the time that you purchased the house. And now you feel that based on the increased value, you're at an 80% or less loan to value then you can request that the PMI get dropped off. Here's the key. The servicer doesn't have to allow you to drop the PMI off. Okay. It's not required by law. Um, it's not something they have to do, but might they? Sure. They might. And the only way you can find out is to actually ask. So if you have a conventional loan that you feel is at an 80% or less loan to value based on the current value of the house, just pick up the phone and call your servicer and say, hey, I'd like to have my PMI removed. See what they say. The worst thing they're going to say is no, uh, but in some cases they will allow you to remove the PMI and you'll be glad that you called. If you have any questions, uh, give me a call 615-498-LOAN, 615-498-5626. This is Craig Sanders with the Craig Sanders Mortgage Team and I appreciate you watching.